Hello folks, it's about time to charge the batteries. Before doing that, I want to show you the conditions out here. And this is not like a solar time, or this is not the best time to charge your batteries if you have an off-grid solar system. But this is the conditions. These are the conditions outside. A lot of snow. I can pan all the way down for you and see what it is live here at JW Solar USA, live in Minnesota. That's the weather. Look how bad it is. It's terrible. All gray snow throwing out. We just got off from those bad and horrible weather that uh, um, we, I think, we we went to uh, approximately to uh, 59.9 minus 59.9 degrees. The cold that plunges here in Minnesota uh, the past weekend or the past week sorry and uh, I just want to show according to the weather according to the newspaper and that's what they told us and stay tuned for this I'm taking you in to charge the batteries live on the grid as you guys can see these are lithium ion phosphate from uh, Volkswagen e-golf this one here is a Ford Focus. That's a, a 3.5 kilowatt. Here, right now, I'm running a 6.4 kilowatt. So, this is the batteries here, and they're still doing fine. And I just want to show you how we're going to charge them. With all our weather, I haven't connected my solar since I've been doing the test. All the past previous um, days, you've been seeing the videos. And these are the wire connections. And... Uh, see the parallels and series all the way down and guys you see what I'm talking about here's number two wires two gauge and let me show you how I'm gonna charge the batteries here so I'm still on the check I'm still on the uh, 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 on the uh, observation how these batteries work but I'm getting already 100% comfortable to put this battery back live on solar as you guys can see it is the command center and no power no uh, charge controllers are on everything is off i've been running this for the past uh since last week i started doing the the, the test i haven't turned any solar i just want to see how this thing they're going to run for 24 hours or 48 hours without being charged so folks i've been doing some tests some days are just one day and see how the state of charge I monitor first got in 80 percent and uh it's easy for it to get back there what i've experienced is just um using a state of charge on a lithium ion um it's not gonna give you that you think probably your batteries are low no because we're dealing with high voltage here the voltage matters so even on the cars they connected this battery on high voltage the voltage matters because the voltage drives the motors and this thing can go so long without dropping voltage. This is my experience. I don't know what's yours, but you tell me in the comment below. But this is how I'm going to do it. You see the breaker right here is off. So I'm going to be flipping that breaker. And let me show you the state of charge of these batteries. Right now we are sitting at folks. Some people with the AG, um, AGM or c -led acid battery, you say you don't want to bring your battery all the way to 50%. Well, I've been testing all these, doing different parameters and testing, testing, testing. Folks, this is what I've come to and I want you guys to see. I uh, never brought them down to the 50%, but when, if I consider about the voltage here and look at that, we're still sitting at 28.9 volt, 28.9 volt. And let me show you how many amps we already took and right now it's taking a 7 amps running the utilities in the house and that's what we already took from the batteries 106 amp hours from the batteries this is couple days two days this system go is running without using power without being charged you can see indicators are not here i even turned that breaker off so that it won't get to the uh, 70 percent i set it for to reconnect so i turned the, the breaker off so it can reconnect at all so I just keep monitoring it yeah you guys can see these are the amp hours where you took from the time the system turned on 
the fact the past uh, couple of days or um, last week, uh, three days or four days ago, whatever. And look, the total amp hours, four thousand watts. It took, and uh, that's the minimum voltage I want the system to cut off. Okay, so. The voltage is still high. Remember, you guys, I charged these batteries all the way. Um, it's supposed to be 32, 32.8. But if you guys watch my video, I don't want to go too much into this again. I want the video to be long. But this is what is happening here. You will see exactly what I said before. That's the number right there. And I want them to be 100%. So, folks, let's go back here. And let's start the game here while I'm going to be um, turning the breaker on to start charging these batteries back and try to zero out this 106 amp hours already taken out from the batteries to replace it and be a full charge. This two days straight, folks, two days straight. So I can be happier than this while the system is doing very awesome job. If you can see here, I set it to um, to connect at 70% down and all the way 100% full charge. Because, like I said, I haven't got the solar hooked up into this thing because I turned the solar everything off to monitor how much days or how many days I study different days and maybe I can charge. And this, I took the, uh, the initiative just to drag this the batteries to see what the voltage is going to be at this uh, 50 something uh, still a charge we have right now as you guys can see I have my one um, my charging system it's gonna be on a 15 amp uh, um, uh, breaker so it's not <clears throat> I have to be in a hurry charging these batteries by adding on the 15 amp breaker I regulate it to be on the 15 amp for the benefit of everyone I just want to show again this is the parameters of my batteries and uh, guys, that's um, it absorbed to 31.8 and 31.8. And I use the float, um, the uh, set equalized to bring the batteries to the specific, uh, to the uh, um, uh, uh, battery specification, supposed to be a 32.8. But I cannot make it 32.8, you guys can see. So that's how I trick the system as you watched the last video, and it stopped only at 32. That's fine. 0.8 milliamp i'm happy with that and this is um all the configuration i have here this battery will never equalize they will never equalize because the charge controller the charger inverter charger cannot make it all the way up to to destroy these batteries because according to the batteries um, uh, battery specifications they're supposed to go all the way higher Okay, but I have to leave a room. I don't want to get all the way to 100%. So I'm getting to the settings. You will see I set up the uh, uh, amp hours of this. So I even showed it a 5 amp on my batteries because the Magnum only goes in 10s. It doesn't go in 5s. So my batteries, the last digits, end up with a 5. Like when you have like a... like. 225 so you can only get about 220 not 25 or else you dial it it's going to go 210 30 sorry on the efficiency side you want to just leave it so that the magnum can choose the efficiency always put on auto or you can go the other way around by pushing this thing and you can change to the efficiency so let the machine uh figure out the efficiency for you this is what I was talking about. It's 225 amp hours, but the only way I cannot go 225, you see, it's going to go 230. So I'm losing a 5 amp, amp there, but that's fine. That gives me not to go all the way above and beyond what my batteries. And uh, the charging can go uh, 32 instead of 32.8. So you see, what is this? I'm shorting on the voltage. I'm so, sh shorting on the amp there. So I'm on the safe side so let's charge the batteries let, let, let's just finish up uh, this talking thing and stop the talking and do the thing right now all right so now we're turning on the system right here the breaker and let's see there we go we got all the system turned on 
It's going to be start charging the batteries. Let's see how many amps it's going to be pulling to charge these batteries. There we go. Connect. I can hear the relay. Pouring the power. Look at that. We're still sitting at 29.1 volt. 29.1 volt. There we go. All right, guys. We are charging. High speed. We are charging. Here we go. Thanks for watching this video. And this is how I charge my batteries. And just to check or to do a test on charging on the grid without using the um, the solar at this time and just to figure out to make sure the solar is not turned on when I'm just to see I want to see how long the batteries can go like a two or three days or one or two days without being charged I just proved that to you guys thank you the previous video is uh, about low test I hope you check out that video before this one please subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching now. Live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Bye for now. All right, guys. So far, so good. Now the batteries are almost charged. 99%. And we're going to be rock and roll again here. I still bring in about 12 amps. Finally charged. So I think it disconnects from the grid. Yep. See that? I can hear the relay clicks. So it finally disengaged from the grid. So smart. And everything is just perfect. Perfecto. I love it. Look at that. And we still pull it. We're pulling 19 amps right now. One thing, um, my uh, refrigerator kitchen refrigerator it has like a heat in something I think it's supposed to be heating the door so that it can have moisture sometimes you can see the refrigerator already go to it's going to uh, a recycling mode you can hear some crack 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 noises on the background or the refrigerator I think it's defrosting itself I hate that defroster I don't know how am I gonna disconnect that defroster and it's pulling a lot of amps for a short period of time, then you completely go at rest. After working, 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 all the freezer, the refrigerator get frozen because the top freezer and the bottom of the fridge. And from there, for a while, then it's going to start up again. I don't know, is the heating coils or whatever, is defrosting itself, automatic defrosting mode. I don't like that feature on that thing at all. So you see, we zero out the amps we took earlier. We, we had the amps we had for the past two days. This one is already zero because it fully charged again. And the batteries are really cool to the touch. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I think so far so good. This is going to be end. This is going to be the end of my test. When it comes to um, the safety and all the uh, whatever I'm going to be doing with this batteries i think i'm gonna be going live with this but i still have another test a video series coming up soon i want you to stay tuned for that because the ford focus will have to go the same process like the volkswagen just uh finished doing right now so the house is pulling 22 2022 20, amps right now and the mode i had it on into a, a um um 
is uh, how you call it it connects back to the grid okay this is the mode I'm talking about you can set it as a timer to connect a certain time or I can go just a uh, volt DC it goes by volt so if I decide to go with by volt um, it's gonna connect at 27 volt out of 32 but I'm going with the state of charge at 70% then it charges back to 100% well this is what it is and this is what I've done and thanks for watching guys we're gonna go back and start a new series of videos on the, um, the Ford Focus and see how everything is going from here thanks for watching guys I love you guys all we're still in pulling a uh, 17 uh, 19.4 amps because of that uh, crazy refrigerator it's efficient but it does this crazy stuff all the time I don't like all right well now I have the lithiums so I don't care about that much because he used to do that a lot on the uh, on the AGMs bye for now subscribe like and share bye